Hello Doctor Who fans and horror fans, um, this is my Christmas um, video, I've not done a video for a very long, very long time and I have to apologise for that, I've got a lot going on, uh, some personal family issues, um, which I'm not going to go on about because it's personal, but I just wanted to talk about uh, Flux and what I thought of it as well, and there's some other stuff I'm going to talk about in the video. Um, Flux, um, Jodie Whittaker's uh, well, last full series with the, with Chris Finnell. Um I like some of the episodes a lot better than others. I like the uh, the Weeping Angels one, and I like the um, Santorans one earlier on, and um, that's about it. But I didn't really enjoy the last episode, the last two episodes. I thought I weren't that keen. I did like the Grand Serpent bit where he puts the snakes into people's backs and stuff like that, or into people. And I enjoyed that a lot. And I'm super, I'm, uh, but I'm really glad that I've got 54 subscribers. You know, you all know who you are, so thanks for that. A big thanks, big like. If you see me Christmas lights, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, this is the book that I'm currently reading at the moment. Can you see that properly? Yeah. Just get into the light. Doctor Who, the Quantum Archangel, by Craig Hinton. I'm just going to read what it says at the back. Um, Hear me, Lord of Time, we are a vengeful people, our reach is infinite, and our patience eternal. For your actions we will have vengeance, and the vengeance of the Chronovores is terror beyond imagining. Five thousand years ago the priest king, kings of Atlantis attempted to enslave Cronus, greatest of the Chronovores. They failed, with catastrophic results. Thirty years ago, the master thought to do the same, and barely escaped with his life. London, 2023, torn apart by tragedy, the Doctor and Mel have gone their separate ways, only to find their paths crossing once more, while the Doctor tries to stop an old friend from making a terrible mistake. Mel is horrified to learn that her best friend has fallen under the influence of the master. As the master desperately tries to defend himself against the power of Cronus, the Doctor and Mel must overcome their differences. If they don't, the Quantum Archangel will be triumphant. And if she is, nothing in the universe will ever be the same again. I've got to um oh look now, one second. Uh, this, yeah, I've I've read um, a little bit of the book anyway. I'm not gonna yeah, I can't find the page at the moment. Uh, also later on I'll be reading another one featuring the master, which I'm gonna read well the these are the books I've not read. Um, yeah, not, this is the first time I've read this book by the way and I'm really enjoying it so far so I highly recommend The Quantum Archangel by Craig Hinton also there's another book as well um, David A. McKinsey who's done some good um, new adventure books as well he's very good at the historical sort of Doctor Who books if you like that sort of thing and um, I'll read this and this is The Face of the Enemy and this one is it's set where um, the Doctor and oh which one is it now I'll just read it, I'll know in a minute. The Doctor and Joe have gone off in the TARDIS, knowing the Brigadier and Unit, leaving the Brigadier and Unit facing a deadly mystery and a moral dilemma. Robbery and murder are on the increase in Britain as disputes between underworld gangs re-escalate into open warfare on the streets. The Master seems inextricably linked to the Earth, the chaos, despite the fact that he is safely under lock and key. Meanwhile, Unit is called in when a plane missing in strange circumstances is rediscovered, contaminated with radiation and particle damage that cannot possibly have occurred on Earth. As the mystery deepens, what little light they can shed on the matter leads the Brigadier to believe that, with the Doctor away, Earth's only hope may lie with its greatest enemy. I've yet to read this one. So I'm going to read this one after Quantum Archangel. Really looking forward to reading that over Christmas period as well. So I'm going to read a lot of Doctor Who books over um, the next few months. Because this, I've read quite a lot, but there's still some that I've not got through yet. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to say um, I'm also looking forward to Russell T Davis um, coming back. I think that's going to be fantastic, fantastic to be honest. Um, and I'm not really... It doesn't bother me which kind of um, time load we get, you know. As long as the stories are good, I think that's the, the main, the main, the main point really about it all. And um, yeah, 
been a long time and I'm, since I've done the video, but hopefully you'll see this. And I just want to wish everybody out there a, a very special Merry Christmas from me. And I hope it's a good one. Thank you. Bye.